Hello, collective. Welcome back to the channel. This is your intuitively awakened star seed here with a message for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. This is a timeless reading. This is a general message and it is a message for the collective. It is for all zodiac signs, you guys. So, Please remember to take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. Also, please make sure that you're checking your birth chart, your natal chart, so that you can get the most out of your readings, okay? We're going to go ahead and take a look at the energy surrounding your connection with your person, okay? So this could be someone that you're in no contact with. This could also be someone that you're in separation from or you could be in union with. So you guys always take it, flip it, switch the roles, okay? Um, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at the energy surrounding your connection. This is for entertainment purposes only. If you know, you know, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap in here. First, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm sending you love, light, gratitude, Palisantos, you guys. I hope all is well, all right? We're going to go ahead and tap in here, though, and see what is going on with this connection. So I feel like there is someone that is at a distance from you, okay? So you could be in uh, separation or no contact, but I feel like there is someone that is trying to get close to you. That's the energy that I'm getting, right? There is someone that is trying to get close to you. There could be someone that's trying to get your attention, something like that, right? Now, I feel like you're a bit closed off. For some of you guys, not a bit. You could just be completely like, um, you know, just not responding. You could be being cold to this person. This is the energy that I was channeling when I was meditating prior to this message. I'm getting that there's someone that's trying to get close to you. They're trying to get your attention. This is someone that wants to um, start off with a clean slate. I feel like there's an apology, someone wanting to um, make things right with you, but I feel like you're closed off from this person. So we're going to take a closer look here and see what is going on for the collective, you guys. So let's go ahead and hop in. Please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not, please leave it. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her, people, places, things. Let's tap in, see the who, what, when, where, and why for the collective. Archangel Michael, please protect us during this message, during this reading. Any dark negative energy, please return to sender. And what is the message for the collective? What is the message for the collective? Divine feminine, divine masculine. Okay. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. You've got strong feelings for this person. One way or another, Divine Feminine, I'm getting you have strong feelings for this person. I'm seeing, let your intuition guide you. Wow. Okay. So you're definitely getting strong vibes. I feel like you're maybe looking for confirmation here. That's what's guided you to this message. We're going to look at this person's intentions, right? This person's true intentions. Um, that's what we're going to be reading, okay? So I'm seeing here your intuition, your heart wants to be in union with this person, okay? I feel like your heart is guiding you. Very strong emotions. You want to be in union with this person, Divine Feminine. I'm getting it's hard for you to shake off the past, though, okay? Now, I'm seeing re reinventing, okay? Someone reinventing themselves. So that's giving me a lot of transformation, a lot of change, okay? Elevation, ascension. Someone has evolved, right? I'm getting someone, there's change evolved, right? I'm seeing here rebuilding from the ashes. I'm seeing resurrection here, okay? 
I'm seeing a resurgence. So a resurgence of emotions or a resurgence of what was before. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? And I feel like you have you have carried this person in your heart. They've maintained a special place in your heart for an extended period of time here. You could have been isolated or been in hermit mode or never found anyone that you vibed with. No, you never connected with anyone the way that you connected with this person. Now, this could be where you had been looking and, you know, you guys could be mirroring each other. I'm getting that mirroring energy because I feel like you could have tried to um, move on, right? And I'm getting that you never made that same connection with anyone else like you made with this person, Divine Feminine. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So, but I feel like the same goes for this person that you're in separation or no contact with. And that's what I'm reading from this person's energy. I'm picking up on their energy. They have not connected with someone like the way they connected with you, okay? But this is someone that could have been for some time trying to get your attention on again, off again, you know? It could have been through social media. It could have been through um, posts. Um, it could have been through, you know, a text here and there. This is someone that you could have definitely ignored, right? Yeah. But I'm seeing there's a fog here. And I feel like the fog is of the past and what has taken place in the past, right? So I feel like it's like the past events. Something, I feel like you guys had a very difficult ending. Things could have gotten very ugly between you guys in the past, okay? And I feel like that that is like embedded in your psyche, you know? That's something that has always kept you from being receptive of this person's attempts in the past to reach out to you because you're remembering the past. This person in your mind I'm getting is forever associated with their past self, right? That lower vibrational self that they presented to you in the past. Now, see, I'm associating a lower vibrational self with the past because I'm getting growth here, okay? Because I'm reading this person's energy, okay? I'm getting that you, you frequently, it's like you think about how things could have been with this person had certain things not have transpired, okay? Or had these things not have played out the way that they did. And I feel like you, Divine Feminine, you, you think about, you imagine how things could have been because you feel like this was your person but it's like if this, whatever circumstance would not have happened, you guys would have been together in the future. You guys would have never separated. And I feel like you constantly second guess those emotions, right? But while you're thinking about that, it's like a fantasizing thing. This person's fantasizing about you as well. Again, I'm getting that mirroring energy. So you may be wondering, does this person still think about you? Does this person still care about you, right? Was the love real? Was the love true? Was it just an illusion, you know? But you guys are mirroring one another. I'm seeing here fantasy, right? Something to do with a fantasy. There's something to do with you may be feeling like it's just a fantasy, but I'm getting this person, you guys are locked in, okay? You're thinking about this person at the same time that they're thinking about you. Please give us more. Please give us more. Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Mm. I'm, you're, I'm, I'm getting that 
there's, you know, it's like you feel as though there's something hidden. This person has ulterior motives. This person destroyed trust in the past with you, okay? Now, you guys, just because something happens, someone does something, destroys your trust, it does not negate the emotions, the love. The love can still be there. And there's still, it's like this love that you have, I'm getting, is transcending time and space, right? This is something that's everlasting, an everlasting love, everlasting emotions. Yeah. So it's like you could be wondering why these emotions do not leave. They don't go away, right? Hmm. I feel like there is a very strong connection. This person carries you in their heart as well. This is someone that never thought that they would be able to get back right with you. I feel like this person made attempts. But this is someone that... Channeling this person's feelings right now. This is someone that still loves you very deeply, very deep emotions. They've never made the same type of connection with anyone else during the time that you've been in separation. But this is someone that really doesn't feel like they deserve you. And it's almost like they've accepted that. They don't feel like they deserve you, especially after whatever has taken place. Yeah. What else do we have here? Please give us more. And I feel like you feel as though there's something hidden, right? I just, I'm getting the energy like this person is... <clears throat> If you're receptive to this person, you're going to get the answers. I feel like there's truth coming from this person. Okay? I'm seeing the ability to rebuild. Phoenix rising. I'm seeing resilient energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like resilient, the ability to rebuild. So it's like the ball is in your court. This person has a deep fear of rejection or any further rejection. Um, it's heartbreaking, okay? That's what I'm getting. And this person, <clears throat> this person you have rejected in the past to some degree. And I feel like that is very, very painful to this person, whether you know that or not. So it may, you may feel like this person truly does not care, right? Because it's like, why would they have done whatever it is that they did? So you may feel as though this person truly did not care. This person is now operating on, from a higher perspective, a higher, their higher self, okay? So this person definitely was fragmented. They were distorted in the past is what I'm getting. There was no growth. There was a lack of growth in the past, right? Yeah, so I feel like you were, you guys were on different paths when you initially came together. Mm-hmm. You were on different paths. You were on a different trajectory. But I feel like the separation, you guys separating, was also alignment. You guys, this was a necessary separation. Please give us more for the collective. It's almost like things had to fall apart to come back together correctly, right? Because it was like, you guys were together, there were emotions, right? But it wasn't that fit. Like, you guys weren't on, you you guys weren't, it was something that was not, some, there was a misalignment here or something. You guys had different ideas. So, I feel like you are this person's wish fulfillment. But this person, they weren't at the point where they could maintain this connection with you, very messy. So it was like you are 
you were on the path. You're a divine feminine. You were on the path of, I'm getting, um, you know, it could have been long-term commitment, right? This person wasn't there. They weren't there, but they wanted you. So this person was operating in between two worlds. They wanted you. They wanted that unconditional love, that empathy, that healing, loving, nurturing energy that you gave them, right? How you made this person feel. It's like no other. This person wanted you is what I'm getting. They, it, it was like something they never felt before, but they weren't there yet. Like, it was like they weren't something about, it was like this person had a lot going on in their life as well, which affected their focus or them being fully present in this connection. I feel like that's for someone. Please give us more for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. They're in the here and now with you. I'm getting here and now. So this person is fully present. They're fully present, right? With you. So I feel like it's almost like they're trying to get your attention to make amends. It's like this person wants to reconnect with you. I'm getting their true intentions, right? It's like this person feels as though they have been separated from you as long as they can bear, right? They cannot take being separated from you anymore. This person realizes this connection with you. So you could be noticing or this will be happening in the future, right? So if you're saying like there's no one coming towards you at this point in time, again, we're looking at past, present, and future. So please take it how it resonates. But this person is you know, could be currently or will be starting to come towards you a lot more um, frequently, making attempts to break the ice with you, making attempts to talk to you. It could be your friends trying to talk to you, right? Um, or, you know, communicating with your friends or your family. So you could notice people starting to talk about this person, bring this person up to you, because I feel like this person may be operating through people that are close to you as well, right? To try and break the ice so that you will see their intentions are pure. So see, I'm getting pure intentions from this person. Now, for some of you guys, this could be someone that you least expect. Even though you're thinking about this person, but keep in mind your thoughts being mindful that your thoughts are just as strong as your words, right? Yeah. So, Spirit, please give us more for the collective. There's manifestation. You guys are drawing one another. Because I'm definitely getting, this person's definitely thinking about you when you're thinking about them. There's some type of telepathic communication going on here. Whomever this is resonating with, right? Yeah. What else we got? What else we got for the collective? You're coming back into balance with this person. So if you're wondering why you're suddenly thinking about this person, right? Why you're suddenly thinking about them or why you cannot stop thinking about them. That's the energy that I'm getting. This person's going through the same cycle, the same symptoms, right? Of coming back into balance. Yeah, you're mirroring one another is what I'm getting, right? Tapped into their higher self and I'm seeing... Your intuition is going to be the saving grace, right? So I'm seeing forgiveness, forgiving yourself and forgiving others, right? So I'm getting that you feel as though you were definitely wrong. I, I see that here. There was something that took place, right? That caused you a lot of hurt. This person that you love so much actually caused you a great deal of pain. And I feel like this person was definitely in, you know, it was like they were in between worlds. They wanted to love you. And, you know, they wanted to be 
what you needed them to be. And honestly, I feel like this person, they were doing the best that they could at the time. They were doing the best that they could at the time. But this person was not equipped. They had not began their journey. They were not equipped. Not at all. That's what I'm getting here. But I'm seeing forgiveness. Your intuition following your heart is going to be the saving grace for this connection. So again, Divine Feminine, I'm picking up on this person's intentions are pure. Okay? There's been growth with this person. And I'm seeing forgiveness sets you free and this person. There's something strong about forgiveness and trust because this person, it's something about trust that was broken, right? Uh, this person's trying to find a pathway back towards you, Divine Feminine. But I'm getting pure intentions, right? And I feel like their intentions were... And this may sound counterintuitive because of what took place in the past. It may sound counterintuitive, but I feel like their thoughts and love for you were pure in the past. They were not equipped to handle the type of love that you brought towards them. But you were guided towards them because this is what this person needed. They needed you at that time. This person was going through a lot of things, right, is what I'm getting. And you being their divine counterpart, you sharing this deep spiritual connection. You guys share the same soul. They needed you at this time. So it wasn't in vain is what I'm getting. But it was the catalyst for this person's growth. So even though things turned out the way that they did, you did trigger a change, growth in this person. Please give us more for the collective. Uh-huh. I'm seeing connection. And I'm seeing on the mend. Okay? So being on the mend. And this has been slow because I feel like you guys could have been separated for an extended period of time. You still hold this person in your heart, Divine Feminine. But I'm getting that it's been some time. So even though your intuition is picking up on this person, you may be wondering why after all this time or why are you still carrying these emotions, right? Because this was a slow progress, right? This was a slow process. Slow progressing is what I'm getting. Slowly progressing, okay? But I'm seeing it's going to be worth the effort. I just came out. Worth the effort. Please take it how it resonates. Clarity. It's like this person would be like, I'm getting you guys, it was the type of energy like things were good. And then this person would be like off and on, hot and cold. Something about the trust, right? This person was consistent and they weren't consistent, right? With you. So it was like a lot of flags were coming out. So Divine Feminine, I mean, you know, the inconsistency can be painful in itself. That can cause a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, and that can also destroy trust. So there may have been like, you may not have had an actual situation, just how this person's energy was, that was, you know, caused you to pull your energy back. You felt as though it was like unrequited love. That's what I'm getting. You feel as though it was unrequited love with this person. You feel as though they weren't, they didn't feel the same as you. And I feel like that in itself hurt but they were distracted. This person was distracted by what was going on. This person, I'm getting something here. I'm getting something that was hidden. 
this person was okay wait a minute this person was doing something because they wanted to be what they felt you deserved or what you needed them to be and they were so focused on that instead of being in the moment now this person was already fragmented right they were distorted they were all over the place. They knew that this was a love that was rare and special, unconditional, right? You guys were like, I'm getting friends as well as lovers. You guys were um, very comfortable with one another. It was real. The love was, this person was trying to, they were doing something and it had them distracted. They were so busy trying to be a false version of themselves because they thought that this person thought that they would not be able to maintain the connection by just being them. They were distracted by building a false sense of self. So your presence in this person's life, this was something that was so different, but it felt so good to them. And they had to do everything they could to maintain it. This person was, there was a lot going on. And I feel like that resonates with someone. It's like this person was so focused on being someone that they weren't to maintain the connection with you. That they ended up creating trust issues off and on back and forth. They threw off the whole chemistry. This person threw the chemistry off out of insecurity. Mm. Manifesting the new. This person, I'm getting growth, right? This person growing, right? I'm getting manifestation. Manifesting the new, which is the old. So this person has, I'm getting manifesting, you're manifesting one another, right? So this person was definitely in conflict. Now I'm getting this energy, this person's true intentions. This person's physical self was in conflict with that spiritual self and it was the spirit that was connected to your spirit. So their spirit, their soul recognized you, Divine Feminine. You guys were locked in at a soul level. That physical is what threw the chemistry off, okay? It threw the whole connection off. And it definitely um, jeopardized the whole connection, right? It, de it jeopardized the whole connection. The chemistry was there from the beginning. So it's like self-sabotage is what happened here out of insecurity with the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm picking up on. Their intentions are pure. I feel like their intentions were pure in the past. And I feel like this divine masculine moved on after your separation in a sense. It only in the sense of the word moved on. An illusion, right? Still very attached to you. But they were in out here with this false sense of self. This Divine Masculine's been attracting fake energy, phony energy, because they've been operating out of an illusion that they thought that they had to be in order to get someone like you again. They wanted someone like you. They were looking for someone like you. They were hoping to reconnect, but they couldn't because it's a soul connection. It was their soul that attached to your soul, right? You guys, that twin flame energy, the missing piece, you're like two pieces of a puzzle, a perfect fit at the soul level. This person, this divine masculine has been out here, you know, trying to find someone like you to reconnect with, operating under a false sense of self. This person never thought that they were good enough. Oh, wow. Okay. This could have landed this person in some type of major trouble as well. Something like that I'm picking up on during your separation.
hidden keys. You see that? There's a puzzle right there. I told you, missing piece to the puzzle. Please give us more for the collective. Wow. Shaping and sculpting themselves. You see that? A new identity. This person was suffering. I'm getting, you know, a lack of self-love. And I feel like this person is extremely attractive on the outside. But there's like some type of... There's some type of, or there was, some type of self-esteem issue. Forming and expressing their own identity. There was growth. This person had to learn how to love themselves before they could love anyone else, right? So there was a lot going on with this person. But I feel like the awakening happened or an awakening happened during your separation. Now, for some of you guys, this operating in a um, false sense of self, this alter ego, I feel like could have landed this person in some type of trouble, right? Something that they didn't plan on during your separation. So a major lesson has been learned. Wow. Okay. Please give us one more from this deck. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. What is this? rising flames of attraction now that this person so their intentions are pure this person is locking into who they truly are so they're becoming aligned it's like that physical body is aligning with that soul and now this person is definitely they're no longer that distortion is not there right that distortion is no longer there within themselves right So now this person I'm getting is in line with themselves and you're picking up on that energy. This is why you can't stop thinking about this person. This is why they're thinking about you. You guys are heavily manifesting each other at this time. And I'm getting there's a magnetic pull because now that this person is in a line with themselves, they're in, in a line with you. So there's a magnetic pull. You're on the same frequency, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and go. Let's get some more cards here. See what we get. Wow. So this person's intentions are pure, right? Things are aligning with this person with regards to you and your connection. Things are aligning. Stars are aligning. Okay. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. What's ahead for this connection? Somebody got in some trouble. I don't know why I keep getting that. And they feel like time is running out with you. This person could be dealing with some type of legal issues as well during this separation. This person has awakened to their true emotions, realizing that you're the one. There's been a lot of failed relationships because this person's been operating out of a false sense of self. This person is attracting people, has been attracting people with this false sense of self. And it's all fake. It's all phony. They've been in several karmic cycles since your separation. Now they're under pressure. They've awakened because they realize now that it's been you this whole time. You were the one. Anxiety. They're having anxiety. They're worried that time's run out. They're worried that they realize the spiritual connection that you guys share, the spiritual connection that they have fumbled with you, Divine Feminine. I feel like they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken, but I feel like
Their heart is there. Ooh. Why just here can you stand the rain? I'm hearing that song. Can you stand the rain? Right? And I'm seeing something about being strong. I'm looking at the details in here. Their heart is, the flame is still burning. The flame is still burning. And that had. Four tough. Something about four tough. This person still, the flame is still burning. They've always, they still love you. You guys, this is a past life connection. Woo. But now they have awakened. They've realized who you are. They recognize you now. They recognize what happened. This person has ascended. Okay, what else we got? Please give us more. They, this person is regretting how they behaved, what they did, how they destroyed the trust. They destroyed, because I'm getting, this person could have been in some type, something was going on in their life when you initially came into their life. You may be aware of this. You may not be aware of this. You have been every single time this person deals with some type of major discord, their mind goes back to you. Follow me, you guys. Their mind goes back to you. They manifest you. Their soul calls on you. Somehow you appear whether it's in their subconscious, whether it's in the present, whenever this person is reaching out to you, there is something, it takes a lot for them to try and reach out to you when they do, but there's something going on because you are their comfort. You are their comfort. You are their peace, even though you guys have spent this time apart Wow. So somehow, and you may not know, this person may not be an open book as to what is going on in their life because this person operates out of a false sense of self out here in this world and they attract fake energy and they attract situations that they are not aligned with that's not for them. Things keep backfiring, but they reach out to you. You are their peace. So they keep putting the cart before the horse. They're not going along with the divine, I'm getting the divine process, right? This person keeps trying to change the trajectory of their life path. Because this person was never, did not know how to love themselves, they didn't know themselves. They weren't able to love themselves. But this person is aligned. They're getting aligned. And this is why they're, I'm getting, they realize. Someone has definitely, I feel like this could be a friend or someone that has guided them, gotten them on the right path. I'm picking up on Earth Angel to help this person get an alignment, self-love. To get in alignment with themselves, divine feminine. And now that they have, they're in alignment with you. And I feel like their intentions are very pure. Wow. They're not happy without you, divine feminine. No. Looks can be deceiving. If you feel like they were, looks can be deceiving. Please give us more. They get readings. They get readings on you, Divine Feminine. Oracle readings. Didn't I tell you they were talking to someone? Someone's been getting them on the right path. There has been spiritual growth with this person. Some type of spiritual awakening. You're about to get a message. I'm seeing, or you have been getting love messages. This person's intentions are pure. Now, the messages you're getting could be in general, just as friendship, just trying to maintain a connection with you if you're already getting these messages, or you could be in the future. But 
I'm getting this is pure and I feel like the ultimate goal with this person, their intentions are to be back with you and to have what you had before. But I'm getting that because of the growth, right? This, the potential to have something better with this person than before is very real, okay? It's very real. I feel like this person, I'm getting the energy. Um, this person, you're so divine feminine, you're very eccentric. I'm picking up on Aquarius energy for some reason here. And I feel like eccentric. So you're very unique. You're very different. Whomever this divine masculine has been in the energy of, whether it is um, romantic or um, it's friends, it's all very cookie cutter. You're very unique from what this divine masculine has been with before you, the type of energies, friendship or romantic. And you're also very different in what they have been with going forward, right? But I feel like this person always felt as though you've had a, some type of, you know, hold on them during all of this time. Yeah. Please give us more for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. Mm. So this person, they were hurt. You didn't respond to them or didn't, um, something to do with them trying to message you, trying to reach out to you. They were hurt by that, that you like kind of blew them off or just, you know, ignored them. That hurt them. I do see that here. Please give us more for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. They felt as though you were turning your back on them. Wow. Wow. Okay, so that broken heart. This person feels like crap. Especially now that they're awakening to the truth about this connection between you guys, right? Their intentions. This person I'm getting is hurt because you, you, oh, they're over this, right? Definitely, I'm seeing they, they intend on making contact with you. Tired of being ignored. I see that. Ooh. See when these divine masculines start awakening. I always say that. There, here comes the possessive type of energy stepping in. Don't care who's around. Once they realize that soul connection, once they understand their spiritual ranking and their ranking with you, they do not care who's around. I'm get okay. So this person. If there's someone else around, oh my goodness. Okay, wait a minute. Very strong emotions. Very strong intentions for a future. Long-term commitment with you is what I'm getting. Not playing about you. Very possessive. Fed up with being... In separation from you. That was the lesson. Self-love. This person, self-love, triggered this cycle. Now that this person has this, things are in alignment. The karmic lessons, they've been through so many karmic lessons. This is now your divine masculine. I'm getting, whoo, they're tired of this just being a memory. Cycles are closing. Mm. I'm seeing a union in the future, you guys. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. The ball is in your court, Divine Feminine, as always. But I am seeing some type of union going forward. This is this person's intentions, you know? This is, I'm reading this person's intentions, picking up on very strong energy. This person has massive regrets. 
Their want for the future with you, though, is very strong. Never wanting to let you go. Very strong energy coming towards you, okay? Very strong presence with this person. This person is no longer unsure of themselves. They're no longer, they were very unsure of themselves when they were with you. Insecure, intimidated by that strong energy. Also, you were someone that could see right through them. They were operating behind a false sense of self and you've seen it. You've seen they were started being fake and phony. You're like, what's up? Ah. What else we got? I'm getting like that follow the leader type of energy. This person, it's like they were very um, impressionable. They were very impressionable. Um, indecisive. But there's no more. Everything, it's been illuminated, right? Where they, you're where, you've been there this whole time. They've already had everything they wanted and needed with you, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm getting. There's a spiritual awakening happening or has happened. I mean, we have multiple ones in our lifetime, right? But the fact that you... I feel like you've always been open towards this person, right? You've always been there for this person, but something happened like the last few times this person tried to reach out to you, um, you know, or like joke with you or keep the lines of communication open. You started ignoring them. That crushed them. That's for someone. That crushed them. You, that sudden shift. Oh, wow. Yeah. They felt as though they lost that forever bond with you. That triggered this. Wow, this, this person, I'm seeing divine masculine and an awakening. Ciao. Mm. Let's go to the tarot, y'all, and see what we get here. This person's true intentions. What is ahead? What is the outcome with this reading? What is ahead? What is the outcome? This person's intentions? What is it that we're not seeing? What does the collective need to know going forward? You even look at this person like you are fake. Ah, yeah, that's a caveat for someone. Like, I feel like, you know, you guys were, <laughs> you guys were locked in. Right? And I feel like all of a sudden you've seen how this person was moving and you're like, you're fake. I don't like your energy. Yeah, you started pulling back. Uh-huh. This person, there was no self-love. This person was operating behind a false sense of self. And especially Divine Feminine, your love was rare. It was pure. It was genuine. But they especially were doing, like, operating behind a false sense of self and alter ego with you. They went into this energy because they were intimidated. Your presence, you know, you're a divine feminine. I don't know why I just got something about somebody's birthmark. And I feel like it's you, divine feminine. You have a unique or rare birthmark, right? For some of you guys, I'm getting, like, the upper part. Or it could be an intimate part of your body. Something like that, right? And I'm getting old soul. Ascended master. You've been here before. Lightworker, healer, starseed. Yeah, very eccentric energy. Very different. But you could see right through this person. You could see their insecurities. Woo! What's up? Okay. Baby steps. Intentions. Baby steps, you guys. This is my masculine baby steps coming towards you. Mm-hmm. Taking baby steps. Page of Cups. Worried you're not going to accept. You're not going to accept. 
this love offer. This person tried and tried before. They were crushed because you, you just stopped responding to them. And I'm seeing here a page of cups and the four of cups. There's a lot of emotions here. I'm seeing with the cups, but this person's been trying to take baby steps and you have been closed off. You ain't been accepting that. Like, no, you got to come correct or come at all and don't come halfway either. And I feel like, you know, this person, they got what you want. I, I get that energy, right? You love them. But you will stand on business. And you have. Divine feminine, you different, right? This person wants this outcome. Sun card. Sun card. Divine masculine energy. Bright new beginnings. Very nostalgic for you. I'm seeing the six of cups and wanting to harvest this love, this connection. Selfish energy. I told y'all when these divine masculines, hmm, when these divine masculines awaken, that love, that not love awakens, it's, it's different, right? A victory putting in work. A victory and putting in work is what I'm getting. What else we got for the collective? Oh, an abundant new beginning. Okay, what else? Please give us more for the collective. What's ahead for this connection? What's the outcome? Very protective of you. Very protective of you. Oh, four of wands. And this divine masculine being very protective of you. Baby, you already theirs. You're already locked in as far as the divine masculine sees it. But their intentions, they're coming back for their divine feminine. The growth has happened. There's no more fake energy. You accepted this person, mind, body, and soul for who they were. Uh-huh. And I feel like this person's lack of self-love has led them down paths of I'm getting destruction, deceit, pain, you know, a lot of painful type of cycles, karmic cycle after karmic cycle, fake phony energies. And it's been you this whole time in your eccentric nature, right? Yeah. You weren't like the rest and you still aren't. Mm. Four of Wands. A commitment, long-term connection, very protective of you, okay? You already locked in. This divine masculine is already locked into you. So divine feminine, you may be out here single in hermit modes, um, separation, isolation, or you might be, you know, have put closure and you're trying to meet new people. FYI, in this person's eyes, you, you're, you're, you're not single. Oof. Okay. What else we got? See, divine masculine energy. What else we got? Okay, I'm seeing some chaos and conflict with this person's presence, their energy. So you know what? You could have someone else for some of you guys in your energy, but get ready because a new cycle is beginning here. The world card. You mean the world to this divine masculine? I'm getting Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. Mm-hmm. What else we got? Oh. oh, what else we got? Look at this. Empress. Empress energy. It's always been you. Very unique, rare, beautiful. You get a lot of attention. A lot of people want to be in your energy. I'm getting alchemy. You're an alchemist, right? Um, again, that healer, light worker, star seed, very empathetic, right? I feel like this love is, you know, I'm getting forgiveness, tapping into your intuition, following your intuition and forgiveness is what's going to make this connection blossom. But again, It's up to you, Divine Feminine. The ball is in your court, or it will be in your court, because this person's taking action, coming back for their empress. Y'all, 
Look at that. They coming back for their empress. Uh-huh. You different. Divine feminine. And they know now. Their soul recognizes you. What else do we have here for the collective? Divine feminine, divine masculine. What else do we have here for the collective? Please give us more. For the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine, please give us more. Oh, you may not expect this. This is coming, I feel like, unexpected. Pisces energy showing up. We got Pisces energy. We got Aquarius energy showing up here. Okay. I channeled Aquarius energy, that very unique, rare, right? You're, you're, it's like you attract a lot of attention, but it's like you're different. The way that you dress, the way that you wear your hair, the way that, you know, you may wear your makeup, um, just the whole energy around you, you're different. There's nothing fake, phony, or cookie cutter about you. What else we got? Please give us more. Mm. They're no longer balancing a bunch of different things. They're locked in with you, Divine Feminine. You're the main focus. This romantic connection. Cards flying everywhere here. We got a lot of energy in this reading. Yeah, here's Gemini energy, right? So, you know, and I didn't want to call it, but I'm seeing here Lover's Card. And the Lover's Card is representative of Gemini energy. This could definitely be a Gemini, okay? Because I'm definitely getting that duality with this person's personality. There's a lot of duality right here. But I'm getting here also to a lot of duplicity, right? A duplicitous type of energy. It's like they can be, you know, good when they're good. And things can be bad when they're bad, right? So that type of energy. I'm picking up on that Gemini energy. So you could be a Gemini. Your person could be a Gemini. You could have Gemini in your chart, right? Something like that, but I'm seeing like very, that this person could even be a Gemini moon or they could have like um, a Gemini Venus placement or a Gemini Pluto. Yeah, you guys, please make sure you're checking your charts, your birth charts, right? Your natal charts and your person chart, cross watchers as well, okay? But this person, mm, they trying to get back on the right path with you. Leap of faith, get ready, a surprise visitor for some of you guys, right? Cancer energy on the board. Cancer energy right there with Gemini, hmm. Gemini Cancer Energy. Somebody's a Gemini. Somebody's a Cancer. This is a person that could be very playful as well. Somebody could be very playful, but this Divine Masculine could also have like a very sarcastic type of nature for some of you guys. Now that, you know, again, take it, flip it, switch the roles. It could be you or it could be this Divine Masculine, right? Mm-hmm. Make sure you're checking your charts, but I am seeing an abundant new beginning after a difficult ending, right? So this cycle was necessary. This person's very nostalgic for you, but there's definitely communication coming in with the Ace of Swords. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This person's no longer in the planning phase because I was seeing they're over it, right? They're tired of being in separation from you. Because their soul, they understand now from a spiritual connection or from a spiritual perspective, what's going on with this connection. Okay? Wheel of Fortune. Good karma. Good karma. Okay. Y'all, look at this. L look at this. <laughs> look, we got the Wheel of Fortune and we got the Hierophant card. This person coming into a deep spiritual knowing there's the keys. You have the key to this person's heart. But I'm also seeing very good karma surrounding this connection. Y'all, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy showing up, checking your charts. Yes. Mmm. A deep spiritual knowing. And with the Hierophant card, that's definitely giving that energy of... 
that's definitely giving that energy of very good karma surrounding this connection. Again, the ball is in your court, Divine Feminine, right? But it really, you know, this is something, it, it don't get no better than that. Your intuition's kicking in. Because I, I do believe this is what you want. Yeah. Wow. I feel like with this person, you always wonder, like, why can't you just be yourself? This true, it's true, authentic love that's coming back towards you. A shift with this person. You guys, I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.